What is enlightenment? What is enlightenment? What does it mean to be enlightened? What does it mean to be accepted? What does it mean to be approved? To put on a different hat? To be silly? And to be sane? To look good? To look great? To look your best? The best that you have tried, have you tried it all? What am I doing here? You know, things just pop up. Geometric shapes are shapes that look the crown. Shapes that look as they do in the crown, by the way, that crown is the same image as this over here, as the crown. Where, where's that again? The crown, let me, let me put that up. Uh, hold on a second. Book's upside down, is it? Would you say it looks like that? Well, the jack and the king also have crowns. What does the queen wear? Have you ever noticed in the deck of cards? It's a deck of cards. You take out a deck of cards. There's all kinds of cards in here. And there's images. This one's easy to draw with, but the clubs are a little bit more difficult. But are the clubs a little bit more difficult? Or are they just telling you a different story? Two ears to the one animal. They're just circles. The Fleur de Lis, the Star of David, bubble them and circle them. It was one of the first things I was taught 15 years ago. How to do things, how to connect, how to bubble. Is it the ace of omega? It is it the H where the I separates the two delta angles. I call these the delta angles. Separated by <laughs> home plate between first and third base. Or are these two the dugouts? Which way should I create this design? Which way does this design have to be created? So I'm not really sure where I am because I slowed down or stopped the video. We were talking about shapes. I was trying to fix the light so it would work a little bit better. But it's not. There's too much light here. Maybe this will help. There you go. The Adidas, the three circles, and the three circles. Forget the show that um, this was in, but that's, they just, each one creates their own design. This sort of looks like the two. Um, you can also, if you want, make it the three by coming around this way. Um, you see the way this shows the three outlook or the E. Uh, if it shows the E, it has to show the three. Um, then eventually the M or the W as over here. The reason the candlestick, because the smaller part and the larger part. If I create this part, it'll show me two sides, this side or this side. I will have to create the cube to take up both sides. I'm gonna go on to the next piece. The next piece is pretty simple. The number two Nibiru is number 73. I want to jump onto something that I have started, but I have not finished. I was watching this uh, thing on Nasera and Jacera, and it's not the first time, but there's something very special about anything to do with numbers. And so for what part it says in, um, in this thing, in uh, Jacera, okay, there's always something good, there's always something bad in everything we read. And, well, I don't know if it's good or bad, but... This is what it says, and, I'm, and I ask myself, people ask me, why are you here? Why are you here? And sometimes people say it's money. Well, of course, in order to advance, you need a little bit of money. And do I share if I got my money? What would I do with my money if I became rich and famous? What would I do? Just want to concentrate on how I can grow my money bigger? Or give that to somebody else to do it themselves, to take care of everything else, so I can have what I began? as my primary reality to my health. My health will bring my wealth. And in my health, it will bring health comes with healthy, healthy, healthy. 
Mazel tov. Congratulations. To see that others are happy brings on the spirit of joy. And here's what the eternal oath of Gesera, or Gesera, says. Dedicate my discovery of knowledge. Dedicate my soul to pursuit of enlightenment. Dedicate my efforts to the process of abundance. Dedicate my existence to bringing all people in all places into unification. And dedicate my life and the days upon this planet to protect for, to the protection and abundance of the human species. Plain and simple. One, two, three, four, five rules. What was five was ten. You know, I mean, all these just say all the regular Ten Commandments. They are what they are. And it shows that it's being brought in under um, the all-seeing eye with a circle and a star inside and uh, all kinds of images upon this early upon this eternal oath and i'm not going to get into it they talk about the bible and what's going on in the world right now and you know what <laughs> a good story is a good story if it's true it's oh my god because there's other things that go along with this story and if it's not true oh my god help me <laughs> and even if it is true it's always the same expression God is the entity, entity of the divide, the divide of all of our minds. So when you say, I don't want to say the, put the letter O in God, because it is the entity of all the knowledge together, expanding the universe beyond. For those who understand how, and, and as part of this, I do not understand that we're nothing but dust. Dust particles that have been whipped together with, with tied up in the skin working on the organs, bits and pieces and animals and bacterias and mushrooms and all kinds of stuff inside of us making up the body. But if you take away one piece and the other piece of the body that we are, the body just whoosh, disintegrates into the ground. And the ants come in and take one piece and one part away. Because we have the horns, we are connected, we have the unicorn because you can't see it. Can you imagine it? How do you hear me and I hear you? How can you sort of feel my expression? I can't feel yours because I'm not watching you. So I'm giving you the show. I'm sending it out through my body of how I feel. How should you receive it? I send it out through the one source. You receive it as two sources. I say one word, you see two. Because you have to understand the difference of the words I speak. I say up and I go down because I just woke up. I woke up, I left the room. I left what room? I entered into a room. Did you leave the room or did you enter the room? I was walking, it's part of talking, but it's not with my mouth, it's with my feet. I could have moved my feet in a certain way. You thought I was speaking. But if I'm crossing the street and my, street or my feet are crossing the street, everybody says, hey, look, he's walking. So his feet are talking. They're telling me because I see him in my way that I shouldn't be going forward across from where he's going. Different art, different design. The eye is on the angle. Anytime you see on an angle, there's dimension. Do you want to see the crown? The crown that lays upon the cards. On which card is the crown? Is it the same crown? See the way it's divided? Does that mean it's divided that I can fold it? So if I fold it, it's going to give me a design and tell me another story. Before I end this video, I always got some numbers so I don't forget. 36 divided by 6 is 6 degrees. 36 divided by 36, 360 by 36 is 10 degrees. So the separation of 6 degrees gives me 
216 when I multiply it. That is the birth. That is your birth. Um, the 6 divided by 36 is 6 degrees. So I have 6 degrees, 36 times, separating all of the pieces on the roulette. Now I'm putting the end of this video as pieces and parts. And the piece of the part is, here's the roulette. Here it says orphans and orphans. 75 and 57. That's what we're going to get over here. 1776 and here it's 75. There's two sides. One they say is the American, the other is the French or the English. English and American. One with an E, one with an A. A is in the middle of E. And each line here is because they've divided all this up. Although this is all green, this is part of the zero. Now, if you want to see a little bit more what I do with this is, um, let's see, here is the square this way, and here is, an, is not the square. There's the red square. You see the red square? Let me get this bigger. Oh, maybe hold on a second. There's the red square. And that's going to give the, the cross. And then there's the black square. In the black square, you can create both the cross and the addition. In the this square over here, I can do the same. But I can, do not have any corners. If you do not have any corners, okay, you only can connect the corners. So this one on the diamond shape will create the plus. Well, this one, the square one, will create the multiplication sign. And this is what happens. I need two squares when I create a circle because my uh, board won't let me do anything else. So it's question. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach the corner of each one, showing me some kind of off-sided one, two, three, four, eight, which is not exactly the octagon. It's a different kind of eight in which there's another shape that will come out of this and tell me another story as well. It shows me this pathway or roof. So what happens is when I split on this roulette piece here, here is a separation between here and here. What angle do I need to make? Okay, what happened? How can I come back from here to here? There's going to be an angle in between. I have to stretch this arm all the way out and this stretch this arm all the way out and then come meet it straight down here to find out my true openness, but that'll be because of the size of this circle. And the same thing from everything. If I see this line that splits over here, the opposite side shows me 16. So between 11 and 16 is the obligation of what these two lines create, between 11 and 16. Do you see the way it's halfway in between? For me, if anything's halfway in between means the fish can jump out onto the other side, but it doesn't run into the wall that's over here. So the same thing with the four, the separation of orphelin, okay, is between nine and one. And then when I bring one of them, it becomes four. The other becomes 34 or four and seven. The same thing for this one over here becomes seven and two, the red son of Jesus. Just, just giving you some basic numbers, the half-life. Then I do it over here, right? I come out here and here, and this line will give me 31 is split. And this one will give me 18. And then between that, there's another split. So it gives me 22 life and birth. The angel and ma, ma angel. Just This is just basic. I have to get you. Listen, there's a lot of words that come out of all of this. Chier de Silene means one third. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Meaning one third. So this is saying chier. Okay. One third. So that means if it's one third and there's 12, there has to be 25 more here. So it's Earth, EC, electric company. So there's Earth. And anyways, there's a whole bunch of things that go in here. And by stretching all these lines out because of obligations, I'm going to see separation, widening. We're going to understand that. This is all to do with the universe, all to do with our Earth. Because numbers are placed in other numbers. Numbers are telling stories, right? So um, I'm not really sure where to go with uh, this piece after that. Um, besides uh, the, the 360, I divided it by, uh, I multiply this by this for the 360. I want six degrees. I want six degrees separation of all this gives me 216. So if I need 364, I need another 100 and... Um, 
I need 360, right? Uh, what is it? Uh, 44? 144? 144 will give me 360, and 1,440 minutes is the day, 12 by 12. 144. Uh, as well, uh, there's another numeric value in here that I'm missing, and it's 364. So I need 144 and 148. 148 is uh, 5 and 8, the silver lining, the silver matrix. But 148, um, 4 and 1 is that 5, which is the energy of heaven. And 148 is also Pluto, uh, Pluto born in the sun, because 1 times 4, 1 plus 4 equals 5 and 4. 5 times 4, 5 plus 4 equals 20 and 9, the 29th day of February, uh, which is 20, the house, the 9, the birth. Uh, the birth of the cube because of the nine area spaces. But on the cube, you never use more than six and one space because of the reflection on a glass cube where this one will reflect only through the opposite side of six, where the one in the five will reflect in the opposite side of the two. All the sides are five except for the six and the one they are seven fifty seven seventy five where do i get my material they gave it to me and i can switch all these numbers and tell you a different story because there's a different story for everything we start with the prime story prime story but we can go one opposite of two one opposite of three one opposite of four one opposite of five we have one opposite of six two opposite of one two opposite of three and i have all these combinations done in my other book all these combinations done in my other book. All the combinations, one and one, one and two, one and two, six and six, all these combinations, different combinations. And where they fit? One and three, one and four, two, two. And guess what? There's a game for it. They call it the game of craps two dice. You can also play Monopoly and uh, create yourself a scenario there that works for everything um, naturally. So where else am I going to go um, inside of this? Um, I think I'm going to start another video. Maybe I can end it with Y2K. Maybe I can end it with Y2K. Here's the Y leaning on an angle. See the, the Y letter? Maybe I shouldn't have put it that way. Uh, that's not the right way for the Y. Hold on. So either the Y, see the, see the Y? can either be lying on its back, looking like a T. It could be lying on this side. Okay, I'm just, this line over here is just showing line. It can also show me the Y that if I put a line here and a line over here, okay, with that Y, see it was the regular Y to start with. Depending how I turn it, depending how you can perceive it, I could put a head on it over here to look like two legs running. So he's lying down or he's leaning down. So everything you can do with the Y. And at one point, that Y showed me that it turned into an ace. Um, anyways, we're going to stop it at that. Raphael 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Peace and pieces.